Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is my dough bowl. <laughs> my big fat dough bowl. And I am gonna measure it for you because some of you have been asking me lately what the measurements are on this thing. And I did give it out, I think to Nelda or somebody. And uh, I'm going to measure it for you guys today so you guys know exactly the size in which I'm working. Uh, it is a big dough bowl. And it will sit right there on the kitchen table. Uh, and as you can see, I have a couple, maybe you can't quite tell, I've got a navy blue pumpkin like this sitting on either end. And then, of course, my candlesticks that I got from uh, the thrill of the thrift, bless her heart, uh, she sold them to me from over there. One of you guys had uh, gotten in touch with me one evening and said, Arlen, Arlen, you need to see what she's showing over here. I went there, I saw them, I messaged her and I was able to buy, purchase them from her, those candlesticks. So they are kind of a one of a kind kind of thing. Um, in fact, uh, I'm really not gonna be able to give you too many links for the things that I have here today. The dough bowl I got from Hobby Lobby that I cannot find, I got it several years ago out of their spring shop when it was on deep sale. Uh, the pumpkin is from Home Goods, but I can't, but Home Goods doesn't have a website. And everything else that I've, I'm using in this is the, like, I'm gonna be using these little candles that I'll show you in a little bit here, or little pumpkins that are, that light up, you know. So uh, maybe they light up, there they go. <laughs> And I am gonna use these, and I think they got these from Ross, and Ross doesn't have a website either. So, you know, this will literally be a, a video to give you an idea, to try to give you some inspiration as to, you know, what you can do for a centerpiece for fall. And then, after I'm done my dough bowl, I do have a haul from Hobby Lobby. I went in there yesterday after I got my hair done, I'll tell you about that in a second, and bought some stuff from Hobby Lobby to go in my t my pumpkin scape, you know, that I'm gonna be working on next Monday. I believe that will be Monday's video. <laughs> Lord help us all on that one. I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm nervous about that, to tell you the truth. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull that one off, you guys. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but anyway, and then I have a couple of questions, and then I have just a couple of snippets of Mischief with Maverick. So. Uh, without further ado, let me tell you about my hair. I went and got my hair done, did, as we say here in the South, yesterday. I went to Billy, my wonderful hairdresser. Any of you local folks here in town, if you would like uh, Billy's information, let me know. I will be glad to give it to you. She said she is still taking new clients, although not many. I have, I've got my, uh, my hair appointment scheduled throughout the entire year, you guys. That tells you how popular she is. She's a wonderful hairdresser who I have gone to for over two decades and absolutely adore. Uh, I asked her to put a little bit more blonde in my hair and she said, okay, I think we can get away with that. So she did give me some highlights just along the top and, and along the sides here a little bit. I don't know how many she put in, a good many, and uh, which really brought out the blonde again. I'm loving the blonde highlights. And then, of course, when she colors me, I'm, I'm colored my original, well, who knows what my original color was, you know? But what we think was my original color when I was a young girl, you know? <clears throat> so that really helps the highlights pop too. So I do have long layers. Some of, I'm, I'm telling you this, I know some of you are probably like, why is she saying all this about her hair? I could care less. I'm saying it because people have asked me uh, that yes, I do have long layers uh, throughout. And uh, so I, of course she won't give out my formula uh, for the highlights or for the color. So, but anyway, there we go about my hair. So let me turn my camera and we're gonna get started. And I'm gonna tell you all about this dough pole and we're gonna put us together a centerpiece. Hopefully, hopefully this will work out all right. <laughs> okay, let me get my camera turned. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna leave it up about that high, I think, today. And here is that pumpkin I was talking about from Home Goods, and you all saw me haul this last week. And I'll tell you about those candles in a second. But let's 
uh, move some of the stuff out of the way and I want to talk to you about this dough bowl Look for a second. Here's the dough bowl. And it was, I still have the, the uh, sticker on it. It was $130 out of the spring shop. But back in, I'm, I, you know, I want to say 2017 or 18. Let me see if it has a date on it. Out of the spring shop. Sometimes they have a year on it. I'm not seeing it. But it does say it's 30, I don't have to measure it. It says it's 30 and a half inches long by 14 and a half inches wide by about six inches deep. So there you go, 30 and a half inches long, 14 and a half inches wide by about six inches deep. And I think, Del Nelda, that's about what I told you. I had my measuring stick out. But there you go, that shows you how large this dough bowl is. I mean, it is quite large. And I am not going to take all of this stuff out of it because I do want to use this same garland. What I have on the bottom is I have, just have one greenery garland, which that does nothing more than just lift up this garland, which is a piece of Hobby Lobby uh, mixed berry garland that you can find back in their garland. And it's about, when it's on sale, which is every other week, about $10 for, I want to say a five foot piece, and I'm sure I cut this down a little bit. But then I have one of those uh, blue, berry, and green garlands wrapped around it, and I have it wrapped in fairy lights, one set of fairy lights. And, let me take that out of there. The uh, fairy light box is right here on this side. This will be the right hand side. And you can see here that Chris has it rigged up and I'm not gonna take it apart, has it rigged up in his way so that all you have to do, and, and you can always find a video to show you how to do this with fairy lights or with battery operated candles in the description box of, my, of every video I put up. It's one of my default settings, it's in every video that I put up. So all I have to do is plug in an external battery. This is an external battery that you can plug a USB cable into like that and then I should be able to turn it on there we go you can see them blinking there and I do want to put them on a steady on uh, you can see on the box here and I have these linked in my Amazon shop too underneath in the lights decorative lights I think uh, gift idea box in my Amazon storefront. As you can see, it has all kinds of combination, in wave, sequential, slow glow, chasing flash, slow fade, twinkle flash, steady on and off. And I'm going to go ahead and put them on steady on because it will drive you guys crazy. Some of you have uh, problems with strobe lights and things. So there we go, that's steady on. So, not that you can really see that, but I promise you it's steady on. So, all I do with this, I don't really have to worry about this box. Because I can, because these come with a remote too, and you can uh, definitely turn it on and off with a remote. And then I just snug the battery down right there. That is a rechargeable battery. So, when it needs recharged, I just unplug it, take it, recharge it, and then plug it right back in. Use a remote, and I'm up and running again. So... And these lights usually last about, with the battery operated, I mean with the uh, rechargeable battery, usually about four days, three or four days, you know. And you can set the timer to only come on in the evenings if you want. So, so there we go. I am going to leave this garland just as it is, you guys. I'm not going to do another thing to it. I like it as is. And that will make for a nice base for what we're gonna add to it, which is, first of all, this pumpkin. Well, if I try to put this pumpkin in here, it's really not, you know, quite sturdy enough for my taste. I mean, I could set it in there as at an angle and just, you know, but, but I really don't wanna do that. So what I wanna do is I wanna put it up on a cake stand so that it sits up 
a little, little higher and a little bit more, uh, a little sturdier. But what I wanna do first is I'm going to put some glue dots on this, on the edges here, just to hold this pumpkin in place. And then we'll put the whole pumpkin, the whole pumpkin and the cake stand down into the dough bowl. And then we will camouflage it with some greenery and some other things. So we don't, we're not even gonna see the cake. Let me do this real quick and I'll be right back when I get all this, when I get it all glue dotted on here. Two is gonna do it, you guys. So I'm gonna, well, first of all, let me tell you about these candles. These candles I got from Amazon and they came in a set of six. And I will link them in my candles. These do not come with a timer, you guys. And they did not come with a remote. So, and they cut, they are, they use a 2032 battery. So uh, these might not be your perfect option for this, but this is what I chose to get. Uh, normally I'll get something that I can turn on and off with a remote, but I needed a little bit of a smaller candle that for this particular uh, craft. So, you know, but I'll put them in my Amazon shop just in case you want them. All right, now I am going to place this pumpkin along with the cake stand down in the bottom of this dough bowl. Just like that. And then I have a piece of greenery left here. I'm just going to kind of put it in the middle and kind of camouflage that cake stand. Now, trust me, we're gonna have enough other stuff in here where you are not even gonna know that cake stand is there. But there we go. And that's a good way to start out, huh? I love it already, oh my goodness. Now, I did have these two pumpkins in here last year, but admittedly, I had a smaller lantern in here so I'm not sure if I want to actually put these huge pumpkins in there. I really don't think I want to. I have them on the table and I can use these somewhere else in my decor. So I'm gonna choose not to use those in this particular centerpiece this year. Instead, I have some gold leaves here, but before that, I have, this is what I used last year for my dough bowl. And those pumpkins were also in here. But this is all of the stuff that I used last year. And you can see I have some fall, fall stems in there too that I will pull out. But I have these, and these are gold, like maple leaves. So I am going to put these, I'm gonna start by putting them at each you know, front, back, either side, and then see how many I have left and add them in. And I want them around the perimeter of this decor. And I only have two more, so I bet I did this. And kind of, instead of coming right out the end, I kind of just made it so it looked even, as far as evenly spaced as I could. some blue hydrangeas and some blueberries. And I'm just gonna start poking these here and there. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn on these little candles and put them here and there.
kind of nestled down. This came in a set of three, so I just have three. There we go. And I do have these two gold spheres and I got them from Hobby Lobby too. But you know what, you guys? Well, kind of down in there, it's pretty good. They're kind of large and in charge. I don't particularly care for them like popped up out of the decor like that. But instead, I like them nestled down there to kind of give a just a nod to a little bit of a gold element. All right, like that, I like that. Okay, now I've got blueberries and I've got gold leaves, as you can see here. So, but let me add some burnt orange element into this. I'm also going to, uh, I'm not going to put a lot of this in it, to be honest with you, uh, just because I really, really like the blue and white a lot, a lot more. So I'm just not going to put, I'm just going to put a touch of, you know, fall leaf color in here just to kind of pull the, you know, the burnt orange in without being overwhelming. I've really toned down my decor this year, you guys, big time, which is, it's been making me super happy too. It's been, it's, I don't like that. It's just been uh, calming and soothing to my psyche, <laughs> if you will. And this will be pretty any way you, you know, you take a peek at it. Here we go. I think that's enough. Okay, let me see if I can add some of, some more gold elements here and there. I've really enjoyed working with the gold too this year. Even though this was in here, you know before I took it apart. It was even in here, you know, just for regular times. Generic decor. I know how to do it. Now, I just want to add just a touch of these blueberries. I just have these blueberries and I got these from oh, Hobby Lobby. And they come on a big stem. And that will do it. Now, I did have this ribbon here. And I thought I might, it might be kind of cute to make like a two loop, two tailed bow uh, and just have it kind of snug down in. So I think I will try that and see how that looks. Just for, you know, since it is the holidays and since, you know, I just want a little something, something. I don't want a big, big fat bow, but uh, you know, I would like a little something. So we'll see what I can come up with here. So all I'm doing is taking the end of the edge of the ribbon, put you down a little bit here, 
the edge of the room. This is this beautiful ribbon that Bobby sent me. This is from uh, Fair Silk. It's available on her site. It's probably not too cheap <laughs> because it is not easy to work with. This ribbon is not, it's very thick and luscious, I'm telling you. So that's why I just wanna make a, you know, not a huge, I'm gonna try about that size. It is super hard to even pinch together, look at that. So I pulled, I folded the uh, edge over and made a loop and then I came from the, the uh, roll side and I made another loop and I tried to eyeball it and make them about the same size. Now I'm gonna twist, <laughs> I'm gonna try to twist and I'm gonna make one loop as the center loop and I'm gonna catch that underneath and then I'm going to pinch it together underneath there like that. And I'm going to make this with three tails. We'll see where my mind is going after I do this. So one, and then I, I, I pull out the, the ribbon and I take the, I grab it like this and grab it on the back and pull it up and turn it right side up. And I'm going to have one, two, three tails. Now I did happen to find one gold pipe cleaner. I know it's a miracle. So I'm gonna put that through the loop, about halfway through, pull the bottom around the bottom and the top around the top. I'm gonna really pull it tight and twist, 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 twist. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. Cut this in half. Now, there we go, just a two loop, three tailed bow. Now, let's see, is this the right hand side? I wanna make sure that this is the right. This is the right side. This is where my battery is. And so I always try to keep my battery on the right side. So I know right where to find it. Okay, so I thought it would be pretty to have this kind of coming out, tied into this a little bit, just like underneath here, to one of the, right underneath the candle, it kind of, let's see if I can get it closer to you. There's a little loop there underneath the candle. I don't know whether you can see that or not. But that's what I'm gonna tie it to. And I'm gonna pull it kind of tight. I'm just gonna twist it onto that. Okay. And I dropped some more leaves. About in a thousand here. Now, I thought it might be pretty to just kind of put these, cut these on an angle and cut one shorter than the next. And just have a little, cut. see I'm kind of going, you see where the short end of that is? And that's where I'm gonna start cutting. That'll turn into the long end of the next one. See that? I'm cutting at an angle. I think I like that. Just for something, just a little extra special on this, you know? I love it. All right, I need to retrieve my leaves down there and stick them back in somewhere. But I think that's gonna be about it, you guys. I think that is super pretty. I think it's gonna make a big fat statement on my kitchen table. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So let me turn my camera here and I'm gonna talk with you some more. You know what? 
I think I'm going to make a second bow. I think I'm going to make a second one and put it over here. And that way it will be even on both sides. Whatever. There we go. Now I've got a bow on both sides. So that way, what are, you know, you can walk around it and it will have matching bows on both sides. So I love that. There we go. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And of course, I will still be tweaking at it, you know, <laughs> because I always do. Okie dokie, I'm back. I'm really happy with how that worked out. I think, I think adding this the beautiful fair silk ribbon to either side of that pumpkin, just pulled it all together. I really love how this worked out. Really and truly love how this worked out. So, yay. And I'll tell you, I did a few small things to my hutch over there, and I will take you, when I, you know, show you the dough bowl, when it's, and it's, when it's sitting on the table there, I will show you what I did to the hutch. It wasn't much, you guys. It wasn't much at all. And that's okay. I've got so much going on this year that I, as I said the other day, I've really enjoyed my <laughs> fall decor being a little quieter this year. Although the dining room table is not gonna be too quiet. I'm just warning you right now. And you're gonna see why, because I'm fixing to haul. So let me start showing you what I went into Hobby Lobby looking for yesterday. Right now out there, I have that three tiered uh, piece that I showed you, wrought iron piece with kind of amber globes that I showed you that I got from Ross the other day. I just hauled that on Wednesday. So I've got that and I've got two large ceramic pumpkins in cream out there. So I have those and then I have my two tufts of the, you know, the cream florals. And I have a few other things that I think I want to add out there. But I bought I bought a good a good many things yesterday just so I could be sure to have enough to put out there because I want it to be bold. I want it to be large in charge, large and in charge. As you've seen, it, things have been quieter. Yes, this dough bowl was large and in charge, but it's a kitchen table. I want something big for my tables. Nobody's gonna be sitting at that table. This, once I make it, will not be able to be picked up and moved. I'm making it right on the table. <laughs> so that is gonna be just for show out there in the dining room at that on that table. This table we'll eat at, you know, and uh, many times between now and Thanksgiving. So the dough bowl is easily picked up and moved and, you know, we'll be able to eat at that table. So, but anyway, let me show you some of the parts and pieces, some more parts and pieces that I thought I might need and may add on in Monday's video to that pumpkin scape. So I started out with a couple of these uh, now keep in mind, you know, the, the colors out there are going to be creams, maybe a touch of blue, uh, a touch of the burnt orange, some ambers, and you'll see. So I think that these are going to go at either end of it, you know, kind of sticking out either end. So uh, these were probably the, one of the most expensive things I bought. $19.99, of course, everything's 40% off. So everything I'm gonna show you is 40% off. And you can find all this in Hobby Lobby. I will not be providing links for every specific thing I got here, but I'm sure if you go into your local Hobby Lobby or on HobbyLobby.com, you can find this type of thing. Okay, I got a couple of more uh, cream pumpkins with some foliage on it. Some foliage, sorry, on it. And these were each, $9.99, 40% off. I love those. 
And then I did pick up, let me explain these. I picked up two of these. Now these kind of have a copper element and an amber element, if you will. I have the amber, the three piece amber candle holder. And then I also had bought a while back from at home two orange, uh, like crystal looking, if you will, candle holders. And I thought I would put them kind of flanked out a little bit within the decor somehow. Again, I'm not quite positive what I'm doing with this, but I thought these would make a pretty, a pretty addition further out, you know, to have the centerpiece and then the big cream pumpkin and then these further out. And I'll show you what I'm gonna finish the edges with or the ends with. But I got two of these, which I, I thought these were so pretty. These were $15.99. Again, this is a brand new design for me. I've never done this design before. So this is me. This is where my brain goes because I don't want to get out there and then think, wow, I wish I had had this or this, you know. So what I'm going to end it or uh, put on either end on top of these probably are these pine cones. Now these are meant to hang. I mean, they came uh, hooked like that. So they would be cute like on a mantle, to hang on a mantle, something like that. I'm not gonna hang them. I'm going to lay them on the table. You know, spread that out as much as I can and that's how the centerpiece will end. Now, I know you guys are going, Arlen, you have lost your mind. You have lost your mind, what are you thinking? <laughs> but I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to pull it to fruition. I just dropped something on the floor. Anyway, I got two of those. And I got two, one of the other one just dropped on the floor, two of these. And now that is not a true blue, that is more of a gray blue. It's telescopy kind of green, but it's really not. It's kind of a gray. But it does have the blueberries on it, see that? And it has some of the lighter color foliage on it. I have to think every time I say that word. I really do. And I say it a lot. So I'm doing a lot of thinking. <laughs> and I got me some pine cones and acorns. I got four picks of these. Oh, these were, sorry, uh, $6.99 a piece, 40% off. And these were $3.99 a piece. And I got four. And this is just to stick in, you know, and to embellish whatever I get, whatever I make there. Then I got two of these, three, no, three, four of these. I got four of these picks. Like I said, this is gonna be large and in charge, you guys. It really is. These were $4.99 a piece, 40% off. So I got four of those. Then I got just about four littler pine cones. And then uh, as kind of a base, I got some of this. And I'll probably lay this on the table first, you know, and then this will just, you know, I got three of these, three of these, spread it all out and kind of make a, I'm not sure, like a bed for everything to sit on, you know, and I will spread them out really far. It's not gonna be piled up on top of one another. I'll spread it out really far. And I, again, I'm not sure if I'll even use these. So we'll see, we're, we're gonna experiment and we're gonna see what I can come up with. But anyway, I got three of these just in case. I'm not positive I'm gonna use these yet. So that, my friends, is it. Other than I bought, because uh, I can't decide whether I wanna use cream candles in the two candlesticks, the two orange candlesticks. So I bought cream and I bought orange. So I'm not sure which one I'll put in those two candlesticks. And that's it, you guys, that's all I got. But <laughs> that was a chunk of change, I'm telling you, that was a chunk of change. Even with it being 40% off, it was still it was still rather, rather pricey. But you know what? As you have seen, I used my foliage throughout uh, the house and uh, if I don't use it out there, I'm sure I will use it somewhere else, you know. So, there we go. That is my entire Hobby Lobby haul. <laughs> Mostly pumpkins and leaves. 
Okay, I'll be right back. And I've got a couple of questions I wanna answer. One other thing I wanted to show you before I get to my computer is y'all know that I'm going to help my dad after his surgery. And I had ordered these from Bed Bath & Beyond. 30 reusable ice cubes. Check it out, I got three packs of these. And he says, I already have an ice, an ice pack. And I said, perfect. So I can just keep these in the freezer and pull them out as needed and they won't melt and get yucky, you know? So I got three packs of those. So I wanted to show you those. I never even knew these existed. Somebody had told me, I don't know who it was, but I was like, wow, okay, let me check those out. And I think it was one of you guys and I got some, so there we go. All right, let me grab my computer. The first one is from Rose Novotny. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> don't mean to be so personal. I think Chris is coming in, hang on. That wasn't him coming, I thought it was. Okay, don't mean to be so personal, but just, uh, okay, here's question number one. Okie dokie, here's question number one. This is from Rose Novotny. Arlen, just a question. Uh, was your mother emotional too? Just wondering, your heart is so tender. Don't mean to be so personal, but just wondering. I wish I could know you personally. Love you to bits, to bits, to bits. Oh, that's sweet, Rose. I wish I could know you all personally. I do. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think my mom's heart was quite as tender as mine. I really have a tender heart. I really, 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 really do. She was uh, quieter than I am. I am I am a chatty Kathy. My mom was more of an introvert. She really was. She was an introvert. My dad is my dad is the extrovert. That's where I get my my uh, my talkative nature. I was from my dad, although he does, he's he, he has a tender heart, but not like me, of course, you know. But no, I I would say that she was uh, uh, more stalwart than me. Uh, although could have a tender heart when it came to me or our girls or a family member who was ill or something like that. She was very tender hearted and very, very smart. She tended to, um, when somebody was ill, she tended to be the one people turned to for advice uh, or for information because she was a science teacher. She knew a lot about the anatomy. She knew uh, she was uh, two weeks from being capped as a nurse. Uh, and then she decided that she wanted to become a science teacher and said to her mom's chagrin, <laughs> her mama was not too happy with her, but mom, you know, she stood her ground and I have to give my mom credit for that. You know, I give her credit for, for saying, no, mom, that's not what I want to do. I want to be a teacher. I want to teach children. I want to shape and mold children's lives. And she did, you know, uh, she said she did a stint on the, or her, you know, she did her rotation on the oncology floor. So there you go. She, she was so tender hearted. She couldn't, she couldn't, she knew she couldn't do that for a career, you know, so, um, but I wouldn't say she's, she would, you know, you know, talk herself into tears like I do, <laughs> but she was very sweet. She was very, very sweet. Uh, okay, Rose, thank you for that question. And number two is from Paula Evans. Hi, Erlen, that table runner is gorgeous and what a great price from Ross, I think is what she's talking about. I haven't shopped at Ross in a while. Our local store isn't that great. I have found great table runners at TJ Maxx. Me too, me too. I am looking forward to seeing your final decor. You have so many great ideas. Do you keep a notebook or journal of your ideas? My mind would be busting if I didn't write things down. <laughs> you look so pretty always. Take care of yourself, see you soon. Well, thank you so much for saying that, Paula. I don't feel like I look pretty always, but I try. I at least try <laughs> to look my best. Uh, and no, I don't keep a notebook. I do keep pictures, though. I do keep, I, you know, my pictures from year to year on my computer. I have over 95,000 pictures on my computer between family pictures and dog pictures and my decor pictures. I have a, and, and my vacation pictures. You know, I have a lot, a lot of pictures. In fact, I go through them and I try to purge. Like if I have like dog pictures, for instance, and I have was taking pictures of the three of them and I had them in, you know, the same pose for 10 pictures as I'm clicking them off. That's one thing about digital. You know, you can take a lot of pictures, but man, oh man, when you try to save them, it gets a little crazy. So uh, I do keep uh, my pictures though. So, and I do go back and refer to my, to my pictures sometimes. 
sometimes you'll hear me say, well, I didn't even look and see what I did last year. And there's times that I don't, you know, but I will pull out a bag like this and say, oh, okay, I can use this for my dough bowl. I, I don't know what exactly what I did last year, but this is the way I'm going to do it this year. You know, you've heard me say that just recently for a couple of things. So, uh, but yeah, I do, I do keep pictures and I do, when I put things away, I try to put them in bags and, you know, when I have like centerpieces and whatnot, and uh, I try to save all parts and pieces together. Uh, the different vignettes, like uh, the mantle, I will tend to pack into one bin or the mantle and the hearth into one bin and, you know, so on and label the bin so I know where I had this, you know, where I utilized the stuff in any particular year, you know, so, or from year to year, I do that. So, but to write things down, I've never been one to write lists. The only time I write a list, like a shopping list, for instance, food shopping list, is when it is a holiday and I need like odd ingredients that I might, you know, uh, not remember I need, like for one of my fudge recipes or some kind of holiday uh recipe or if I'm making a new recipe, which isn't, doesn't happen very often these days, but if I make it a new recipe and I, and I'm not familiar with the, with the recipe, I'll write down, I'll write a list then. But for everyday shopping for like, if I need to go to Hobby Lobby, you know, I, I won't write a list. I don't ever, I've never been a list writer. I've always kept it all in my head. I don't know why that's just the way I am really good at remembering phone numbers too, by the way. <laughs> My dad and I were talking about that in Myrtle Beach. We were talking about, he says, he says, what was that number I told you about the other day? I said, it was blah, 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 blah. And he goes, yeah, I can remember numbers like that. I couldn't remember that one, but I can remember numbers like that too, phone numbers. So I, I don't know why phone numbers stick in my head. I'm terrible at other numbers. <laughs> phone numbers I'm good at. Uh, but anyway, that's it. That's all my questions. So thank you for that question. <laughs> and... Uh, I guess that's it. That's it for this week, you guys. Another another week has passed. Phew! They go by so quickly, don't they? Uh, so I literally only have a couple of weeks left that I'm going to be here uh, doing videos uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then after that Friday, I will be going to be with my dad on September the, September the 12th. Uh, and then I'll be gone for a couple of weeks at least, you know, helping him recover. So... Uh, but anyway, I hope that you guys have some plans this weekend. We do not. We do not have any plans. Uh, probably won't see the baby between now and after my dad's surgery, which is a long time. I know, but I'm, I'm trying to not to get around him or anybody else. I'm, I'm, uh, when I get 10 days out from his surgery, I think I'll probably be quarantining a lot. I mean, we'll still go out to our regular restaurants and stuff, but I'll probably stay out of stores and that kind of thing to try to keep myself safe. And, and so that I don't carry anything, you know, not just COVID, but any kind of infection, you know, to my dad for his surgery. I want him to be healthy, good and healthy for his surgery. So, uh, but anyway, that, I, but if you have plans this weekend, I hope that you get to see those you love or, and who love you. And if not, I hope you get to talk to them on the phone or FaceTime with them or something and never forget to say that you love them when you're leaving them, whether it's saying goodbye on the phone or goodbye on a computer or goodbye in person. Give them a big hug and tell them you love them because you never know what tomorrow might bring, right? All right, that's it. So let me go into my final words and then come back because I will give you a final video, a talking video probably, or at least I'll show you my hutch and then maybe go into some music and just go around the table so you can see the dough bowl in its place. And then a couple of snippets of Mischief with Maverick, and that'll do us for the weekend. First of all, uh, uh, please do take a moment to subscribe if you haven't. I'd sure appreciate that if you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell and click all so you don't ever miss one of my uploads. Thank you so much in advance for that. I'm, I'm loving watching those numbers go up a little bit, tick up a little bit. So thank you all in advance for that. Thank you for all your comments. You know, I take them straight to my heart when I read them. When you see my heart, you know. You know I've read them and I've taken them to my heart. So, with all that said, I hope all is well with everyone. And for those of you who may be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, 
making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Okay, so here is the hutch. And as you can see, I really didn't do a lot to it. I left the top as it was and just added that hello pumpkin, kind of navy blue sign up there. And that's kind of a leather piece with the word pumpkin on it. And then I just added two pumpkins, the blue and white pumpkins there. Uh, they are from Kohl's from last year. And then just a fabric pumpkin kind of sitting inside of a wrought iron pumpkin there. And then a cattywamp down here. And a little scarecrow there, a little pumpkin with the family. Another blue and white pumpkin from Kohl's there. And then another little lady, I think she came from and that last year. And then I did add this. Uh, that's a cake dish and with leaves on it as you can see a little scarecrow there and that's it you guys that is all I did with the, the hutch but <laughs> I just really 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 like it downsized a little bit this year I'm really happy with how that worked out so let me move my light out of here and then we're gonna go around the table here. I'm gonna get, just set it to music and just walk around the table so you can see this dough bowl with the lights out and see how it worked out. I really am happy with that. I think it turned out super pretty, super, super pretty. The addition of those bows, I'm really glad I did that. That did add another element to this dough bowl that I had not added before and I really, really like it. All right, I'll be right back, set to music. Love you guys to pieces and I'll see you next Monday. <laughs> All righty, bye-bye. Thank you.